For more on Blinken's Africa tour and where that means a new connection between the U.S. and the continent, we're joined by a lecturer at the Department of Political Sciences, University of Pretoria, Roland Henwood. Uh, Roland, good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. It's not hot. It's not lost on me, rather, uh, that that visit by the U.S. comes hot off the heels of the visit by the Russian foreign minister to some parts of the continent as well. Is there a connection here? Uh, good afternoon, Kathy. Yes, I think there is a connection, but I don't think one must draw a direct parallel. Um, these things are scheduled quite far in advance to, to plan and execute, so it may be a coincidence that it happened so close to each other. On the other hand, yes, it is related in the sense that the U.S. is trying to make up some lost ground, um, especially during the Trump the presidency, Africa was very low on the list of priorities, didn't get much attention, some very negative comments from the president himself. And the new administration, which is not that new, is trying to catch up, um, patching up relations with Africa, maybe and I, I honestly trying to set a new um, basis for, the, for a long-term relationship. But at, in the background of this, the knowledge, especially in Washington, that both Russia and China are very active in Africa and they are active at cost to the U.S. itself, which is not featuring and actually experiences quite a lot of pushback from African leaders and, and they have to engage differently with the continent. Of course, there's always a lot to be said about the choice of countries that are visited. When you look at his time in South Africa, some of the comments that he made about the role South Africa plays in the region, how important um, the, the views of this country are in swaying even the rest of the continent on several positions that it takes on matters of global importance. Yes, I think he underscored the importance of South Africa, and this is not new. South Africa has always been important to the United States. It's been important to Washington, um, and the issue here is that South Africa is not acting in the same way that was what's expected and that Washington has become used to, and that necessitates the engagement and the emphasis on, Afri on South Africa and South Africa's role in Africa as an ally and as somebody that the U.S. needs in terms of achieving its objectives also in Africa. So that's good news for South Africa, but of course there are issues. It's, it's not something that just happens and is just good. There, there are also other issues that, that underpins this position. Let's talk about the importance of the DRC as a country because it's featuring in, in both the visits of these foreign ministers. Well, importantly, I mean, not only does it lie at the center of Africa, it's a massive country, lots of potential, um, lots of minerals, and, and hence it is quite important. And any, any country that relies on these sources will definitely pay a lot of attention to the DRC. Of course, it's also a very difficult country to understand and to govern. And I think that opens the door for external role players to engage and see what engagement they can achieve, but also how they can play into what happens in the DRC as a country, but also in the regional context. And, and, and that definitely will give them a different engagement with what happens in the region potentially a, an important region, but also one with a history of conflict, and we see the threats of conflict again um, emerging, in, in not only in the DRC itself, but also regionally. So when we look at the latest comments then about Rwanda having funded some of the rebel groups, it's something that has long been said and, and even believed, particularly by some leaders in the DRC. Does it make a significant difference now that the U.S. is taking this seriously and in fact will absolutely have to address it with the Rwanda government when they wrap up this tour? Definitely important. Um, the U.S. is influential. It has a lot of clout politically, economically, and on the security level, and probably can influence what happens to some extent at least, hopefully positively. Um, Rwanda is an interesting case. It's a problem for South Africa. We haven't really been able as a country to influence and limit what Rwanda is doing. And Rwanda is actually at this, at this stage challenging South Africa 
to quite an extent in terms of what happens regionally and also in Southern Africa. Don't forget the role Rwanda plays in Mozambique. Mm. And that is alongside what SADC is trying to achieve. So it is a problematic country. It is a country with difficult leaders to engage with, especially from South Africa. And in that sense, any engagement from the U.S. that has positive influence and a positive outcome will also be important for South Africa. All right, lecturer at the Department of Political Sciences, uh, University of Pretoria, Roland Henwood. Let me thank you for your time tonight.